Well, 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 how about this? At long last, the FIA has finally released the final programmatic environmental assessment for the SpaceX Starship and Super Heavy launch vehicle program at the SpaceX launch site in Boca Chica. It showed as completed for some time on their website before releasing the final confirmation, but finally here is the outcome. The FAA has issued a mitigated FONSI, which is the second best option we could have expected. So what is next for Starship? The next thing SpaceX will require is a launch license. And in order to get it, SpaceX will need to take more than 75 actions to mitigate environmental impacts from its proposed plan to launch Starship. The list of required actions is found in another document, which I will link in the description box down below for those of you interested. The actions are part of the agency's environmental review, which must be completed along with public safety, national security, and other analysis before a decision on whether to grant a launch license can be made. But there you go, we finally have a decision from the FAA, which could still face legal pushback, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now, how much longer do we have to wait until the first orbital flight of Starship happens? Well, apart from taking the actions required required for the launch license. Both Booster 7 and Starship 24 have very demanding test campaigns ahead of them, including multiple rounds of static fires that have to go nominally to even be considered flight worthy. And all this going according to plan without any anomalies remains a big if. SpaceX has already blown a couple of pipes on both Booster 7 and Ship 24, which didn't seem to be anything serious and eventually got fixed. But still, we may see similar issues arise in the upcoming test campaigns, which may delay the future first flight even further. The wet dress rehearsal will also have to be made once everything has been thoroughly tested. And if this last step is carried out successfully, then I think we may look forward to having an official launch date for the first ever orbital flight of the biggest and most powerful rocket ever made. So how many launches will SpaceX be able to perform? Well, taking a look at the final PEA summary, on the proposed annual operations table, we can see that Starship will be allowed to perform up to five launches per year. It might not look like much, but I think that's okay because SpaceX is also rapidly building their other production and launch site at the Cape in Florida, from which they will be able to conduct more launches and really bring up that sought after launch cadence. I think I remember Elon mentioning that uh, Starbase would remain a testing ground for new systems and prototypes and that's the reason I think five launches per year is okay -ish. and do not forget about the ocean platforms which will also become a thing and will allow for even more launches and landings but holy shit we finally have an answer from the FAA and it's good it brings us closer to the reality of seeing the first ever flight of Starship, I will probably do a more in-depth analysis of the final PEA summary in the coming days, so I hope to see you all there. Have a nice day, it's definitely a day to celebrate, and uh, see you soon. Take care, bye bye. Yes, I care about us becoming a multi-planet species in a space spring civilization is foundationally, I love humanity. Um, and, and so I, I wish to see it prosper and do great things and be happy and um, and if I did not love humanity I would not care about these things.